Hello and welcome back uh, to my uh, little demo and here now I would like to show you some technical details of the ejection seat that I'm working on. We're talking about fly gear and my airplane which is the U2S and this time as you can see I'm already up in the air and I'm flying at high altitude so here I'm at uh, about 50,000 feet and I will start the ejection by pressing shift E and then we'll have some time during the fall where I can show you uh, some details and there we go we've ejected and you can see the plane continues its flight and the pilot is falling now and um, okay so now um, let's start and what I'd like to show you are some properties so I go here on the debug browse internal properties so we have the property tree and um, everything that uh, concerns this uh, pilot and this ejection is here under a new instance I made it's called eject and this is what we'd like to uh, uh, watch now and um, yeah uh, this ejection is made by nozzle script so in behind there is a nozzle script which is running now and it's controlling these properties and the behavior of of the pilot of the ejection and the coordinate system I choose is the x uh, um, the y axis is going straight up the x axis is forward and z is uh, the lateral and what we can see now here um, maybe uh, some some words uh, mm, before we w start watching the properties. Um, uh, I I use for the calculations that are made uh, in in the nozzle script. I use SE units, so they are in meters and kilograms, seconds, and so on. And then uh, after that, they get uh, transferred to uh, fly gear units if necessary uh, which is for the altitude here for example it's foot but internally the calculations are made uh, based on SI units and uh, this guy the ejection it works um, like a thrown object so um, it's um, I'd like to say it's it's a physics based calculation but it's uh, yeah it's handled like a thrown object um, so uh, yeah you you may know the formulas for the thrown object and so on and and this is what we do here and but it's it's I'd like to say it's physics based because we have a uh, drag included and um, yeah so um, now we c you can see we reached the cloud layer already and so that's uh, very nice and we can see the ground appear also and um, but now uh, to these properties here and just pause this uh, very quickly and um, here you can see the initial vectors so uh, they are taken from uh, from the aircraft orientation and velocities and then uh, they are calculated based on these based on these inputs uh, I calculate the initial vectors for this as I said for this thrown object and they are just out uh, written out here and they are used for the initial uh, um, for the initial uh, start for the for the for throwing out this object and then they they don't change anymore so this is just uh, mainly an info 
and then we have the altitude here which is at 16,000 feet already and then we have some uh, controllers and here we have the position the current position in latitude longitude then here we have for example parachute area and um, again we have a or not again but here we have some uh, uh, the pitch and the roll which which doesn't change anymore uh, and then we have a time counter and here at the bottom we have the um, the current velocities and this one is the interesting part now so uh, here you can see the velocity in the x direction and the velocity in the y direction which is the falling uh, direction or the vertical direction and here you can see now that it's at minus 53 meters per second and it, uh, it doesn't accelerate anymore and that's because we have a drag included in the calculations and um, yeah at the moment uh, I don't have the air density included but that could also be done and then this would also influence the terminal velocity down here so if the air density is low then uh, terminal velocity will be higher and as we uh, approach the ground the air density rises and the terminal velocity uh, will decrease and um, and now here the parachute area um, when we reach 5000 feet above ground then the parachute area which is zero now will increase to f uh, 40 square meters which is the real area of this chute I calculated as you can see this happened just now and now the uh, terminal velocity has changed to minus 5.5 meters per second and this is uh, really in the calculations depending on the on the drag area which is uh, this parachute area now and um, uh, this is made possible by a numerical integration that I used or that I use now uh, for for the calculations in the in the script and this is very nice because uh, it makes exactly that makes it makes possible that we can change the variables like the parachute area or the air density which is constant for now but uh, this makes it possible um, uh, that we can do this and this would not be that easy with a uh, with a normal uh, trajectory calculations but by doing this numerical integration um, this is possible okay so that's um, that's the basics what I wanted to say about the uh, the ejection uh, seat functions I made and yeah this is basically where I wanted it to be and as I said there are some uh, improvements that could be made also a booster could be created and that would be interesting to do and maybe I'll do this and then we would have a real booster we would not have a initial velocity which is just 30 meters now meters per second so uh, we would have an increasing uh, increasing initial velocity uh, for this for this guy here and yeah that's it so now we're we're continuing the, the falling and this animations of the chute and so on they are similar to the bluebird walker which has also skydiver and I must say I really admire this bluebird walker because of its animations and there there has been a lot of work 
that has been done here also the the pilot is animated and this is not the case here and I'm I do not intend to to do this or I will not do this here so this is a static model and yeah the, the reason I didn't use the, the bluebird code um, was just because it, it was kind of un fairly unreadable to me uh, but I used it uh, for, for reference and yeah but that's be that's uh, the reason I decided to, to start writing a, a new code and um, it's uh, yeah I have another focus here here I'm focusing really on the ejection and the falling and chute opening and so on and this is all I, I, I do here um, yeah so now we already we will we will reach the ground and uh, yeah I, I I hope that um, maybe uh, this uh, ejection system can be integrated into other aircrafts because I think there are lots of aircrafts military aircrafts in fly gear that in reality they have an ejection seat but in fly gear they don't have um, or just very very minimalistic basic and so this 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 could be a start to to um, to uh, into to uh, start to an ejection system for flight gear and yeah and I have planned to write a wiki um, about this uh, this uh, I call it a nozzle driven ejection seat and yeah there I will describe how it could be integrated into another aircraft and um, uh, yeah that's it so we've reached the ground and the end of this demo so um, thanks for watching and goodbye